Hey doing for friends, we're back to another video where today I am playing Spore. This is a game where you basically get to create and discover your own creatures in your own world. Full of aliens, if you will. And we basically need to start off as a cell. So we need to pick our own planet and um, get into it. Um... What what one of these seems most interesting? So we've got a green one with blue water, blue one with purple-ish water, um, a blue one with red water, um, blue one with green water, yellow one with red water, and a red one with blue water. Hmm. I kind of like this one. Let's go for this one. Um... So we're going to be starting as a cell, and we're going to be a, uh, let's be a herbivore for now. We're going to have easy level. We can be, um, a omnivore, and I'm going to try and be that. Meaning we eat both meat and veg. Uh, let's call our creature, uh, so, oh no, this is the planet we're naming. Let's name it... Um, Galacta, Galacta, the world of Galacta, and here we are. Here's the sun of the solar system, and something just flew off from it. I think, yeah, this the space rock flying through space, flying down and going towards the planet we chose. Splitting up, I think. And it crash landed in the ocean. And all the little parts are going everywhere. And I think this one here is the one our creature is. Our creature, I think, is inside. Yeah, this is what our creature looks like. It was randomized, but we can always change it. Okay, welcome to the tide pool. Throughout Spore, the choices you make impact your future as a cell. Your mission is to eat, grow, and evolve. Growth is measured in your progress bar below. This is your progress bar. As you eat, you will earn DNA points. You may spend these points on new parts to evolve your cell. As your progress... Um, as you progress, you grow, you grow larger, and your world expands. So here we are, our little cell. We can wiggle around. We can only eat the green things because we're a herbivore. Nom nom nom. Uh, so you're a herbivore. Swim over green plants to eat them. So it looks like we need to eat five of them. And we've already done two. Oh, there's another creature there. See if we can take him. Can we fight him? Oh, not yet because we don't have any weapons. Okay, so num num num. Let's take this one last one. And we've grown. We've grown much bigger now. Um, so let's just keep on eating, having lots and lots of fun. And look at this. Other cells and meteor bits are the key to finding new parts. So when Basically, when you see a new part appear, swim over to the token and collect it. Like this. And we just got a spike. Let's keep on eating. We can tap this to call another mate to enter the cell creator and have a baby. So let's head over this way. And here it is. Let's do our little loving dance. Spin around a bit and lay an egg. Now we get to create our own creature, the cell creator. You can change modes in any creator by clicking on the, mo the mode button above. Before returning to the title, stop by paint mode and spruce up your new look. Okay, so here's the spikes. Uh, we need 10 of the DNA points, and we've got 14. So let's go and grab this. And we can move it and attach it. 
Um, let's go for here. These seem good. And then we can also move the eye. We could have two eyes or um, just one. <laughs> Look at this. Um, so yeah, this game is tons of fun. Um, let's add these at the back. Let's, um, uh, we can't really change this yet, I don't think, because it's just a cell. Uh, but we can go into paint mode now, and we can choose the colour, and we can choose uh, the different patterns we want. Um, so yeah, this is nice. Let's keep looking though. What can we choose? Uh, this is nice. Um, is a pink one. I like the green one. It's the lime one. That's nice. Um, so why don't we pick this and then we can name our species down here. Let's call it the flopper tub. So this is a flopper tub and I'm not going to mention why I named it that because I think it's pretty self-explanatory um, but this is the flopper tub so far so we've done all we can really do right now in the build mode so let's continue with the game with our flopper tubs and here is the egg hatching and begins the life of a flopper tub eat up nom 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 so if we get the mouth of a uh, of, uh, of a carnivore even not carnivore an omnivore um then we can um eat both like before we exit the cell uh the cell timeline um we can become a omnivore, meaning we can eat both veg and meat. That will be much easier for when we're out of the water and we are an actual being. So, let's wiggle our way around. We're very, very fast. We need some more vegetables, so our little vegetable hunt. Okay, here we go. We stab anyone with our little spikes. Here we go. Stab. Yeah. Hook. Hook. I just exploded him. I can't use meat though, because I'm a herbivore. So there's no real point in killing these guys. Ooh. Apart from if they have something we don't have, like this one has a puffy thing at the end, uh, we can get the token of their DNA and we can learn that we have enough DNA points. So let's wiggle away. Um, yeah, this is cool. Let's get some more DNA points and then we might be able to uh, grab something else from the creator. No, don't. I can eat you. Well, I could eat you. Uh, now the same size as this big guy. I would like to kill you to get your jet. Way too fast for me to catch. Once I stab them once, they're at half health, but that still means they can run away really fast. Okay, let's, let's try our hand at it again. Is this one familiar? No. Is this one familiar? No? no, still not. We have to keep trying to get that so we can get fast. If we grow a bit bigger, we'll be able to kill them one. So let's keep eating. Where's all of the food gone? There's some. We're almost at the stage where we can get mass quantities of this stuff. You know, we're going to be able to eat a lot. And you can see in the background, even bigger fish. Here is the mass quantity that I was talking about. Oh, now we get it. Oh, no, let's just keep going around here and eating up all of this. Oh, yes, we're growing bigger, meaning we can now try and get at the uh, other rooms, the little blowy jet things. So let's, let's try and get one of these. This one seems to have poison, that one down there, over there. These guys are way too fast for me, as well. Um, I think we should get to 20 DNA points, um, and then we might be able to call mates and actually upgrade some stuff. Let's go to 25, maybe? Or as much as this little one goes us, and this fish, because it. There we go, let's call mate. Okay, they're down this way. So let's go and get them. Hello, see, it's an another flopper sub so let's have a little dance and lay an egg so we can choose lots and lots of things now uh, we can choose to not be a herbivore anymore or what we could do is we could um, put this like this and then add this here and then we can eat both and this is how you get the herb the omnivore mouth um, we can now add different eyes so we can have some more eyes if we want and um, we should get some spikes 
closer to the front, I think. Or maybe even on the back. Might be good. Um, if we sell the eyes, can we get anything else? Um, you know, the spikes are too expensive. Can we get rid of an eye? <laughs> we can, but I doubt um, that will be any good because we need to see. Yeah, we need to see or we won't be able to move around as fast because we can't see where we're going. Let's move this over to here. How does that look good? How does that look in paint? Yeah, it's looking pretty nice, so let's carry on. Uh, there'll be a huge chart at the end of the cell production, meaning we can see how much we've done. Um, but now we can eat anything we want. Mwahaha. <laughs> like so. Oh, this one's poisonous, I do believe. So we want to stay away from his butt. Okay, oh, now we can just eat that. Oh, I think I just got eaten. Stop feasting on me, please. Ugh. He's sucking on me. Oh, yes. I just got a jet from that guy. Yes. I'm killing him because he went straight for my butt where the big spike is. So we can almost... We're almost levelling up a tiny bit. Uh, the next level up very soon. Um, I'd say one more piece of meat would do it. So if we find any food... Oh, look, it's a uh, flopper tub. Hello. How are you? Yeah, dancey, dancey, dance. Okay, let's go and get this meat. Oh. No need to try and stab me. We can all share. Okay, let's grab this. We're about to level up. Oh, this one's very, very fast. There we go. We're inside a bit. Let's eat all of this up. Oosh. Stabbed it. We're just turning around. Ah, this guy has electricity powers. So we can try and grab him. Yes, and now we have the power of electricity. Let's get up to 20 and then call a mate so we can carry on evolving. Whee! Our species' bellies are really fat. I think we can change that here, actually. Can we? Maybe later on. Um, maybe if we get rid of this, we can get the jets and we can just place these here and this here. That will be good. Yep. Very nice. Um, let's get rid of this one eye and let's change it for these stalk eyes. I think will look nice. Okay. Yep. Very nice indeed. And um, we can afford some more spikes, so let's put them here. Let's carry on then. Ah, oh, guy is looking very weaponized. If we get some electricity, we can do very well. Oh yes, this jet is doing very nice. So let's just get some food, and hopefully we can get some electricity for the back. Then we will be unstoppable <laughs> we're up to where the really big fish are I like how um, your own species doesn't attack you ooh some special rock this means we'll get a move we've got Celia meaning we can turn much faster if we have them ooh I think I've been poisoned a bit ooh let's get out of there right away ooh I got poisoned there that was not nice here we go got four out of six parts that is good Let's grab some of this. I think Spore would be a really good game to stream. What do you guys think? Oh, there's another part over there. I'm gonna go get it. I'm very, very big now. Let's grab this. I got poison. Now I've got electricity poison and a jet. Whoo! And some spikes. This is doing great. Let's grab some more food and hopefully we can upgrade after that. Eat. Must eat all the food. Um. Nom. 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 We are so much bigger than when we started. Stop trying to attack me, little fish. So annoying. Die. Nom nom nom. Okay, we can call a mate, but I'm gonna get up to 20 before I do that. This one is, was a really big fish, and now he's tiny compared to me, because I am humongous. Wahahaha. I, just so you know, I'm not playing as the same sp cell every time I keep having a baby. Oh! 
I grew a brain! I grew a brain! Woohoo! Congratulations, when it comes to swimming in the sludge, you rule the pool. When you are ready to stretch your legs in the big wide open, click the advance button down here so we can grow legs and go to land. I'm going to grab some other stuff first though. Uh, I think I should grab the electricity before I do that. Let's call a mate. They're behind me here. Can you not? I'm trying to kiss someone over here and have a little dance. Not be stabbed in the booty. Okay, here we go. We laid an egg. And let's add our final stuff. We've got enough for the poison. Um, we're not going to need this jet anymore because we're going to be on land. Um, we can use the electricity one like this and the poison one like this no or we can use it like this we can move the eyes a bit put these in the front eyes here and then oh we haven't gotten the mouth yet Hmm, what will we do? Hmm, let's just, let's just keep on going. Oh, I can't move at all because I have nothing to move. Uh, let's grow legs and go to land then. This is the history, this timeline shows you a history of actions you have taken during life as a cell. You have established a trait which earns you unique abilities that will benefit your future generations. Which path have you chosen? Okay, this is our generation one. We emerge from the meteor. After all that, we are a herbivore because we ate more herbs than we did meat. So, let's continue and get onto land. Let's grow some legs. Let's grow some legs. Here we are. Here's our little creature. So cute and ugly at the same time. So we can add these on. We can put spikes at the back now. Put them up here. Or even here, if we so wished weaponized at the back timid at the front let's add some tusks here and we can point them in different directions let's point these here and point these um, down like this or up even like this that's nice um, we can spin them so they're both facing backwards um, We've got these parts still, if we so wish. And we're still underwater here, but not for long, for we are going to add some legs. So we've got these Thunder Calves, uh, Fatella, Brawnysaurus. Which one looks best? Skinny legs, like these. Let's move them around to the front. Skinny. muscular or flopsy oh my god can we just give it one leg one leg let's do one leg oh let's make it <laughs> we can make it like a really long like a giraffe even oh my goodness is this cruel <laughs> wow what the heck Ooh. Let's, let's move him down a little bit, like this. And then we can move his spine. We can lift this up. Oh, we can make like a weird chicken monster. Is it just me or does his body look like a pear? Here we go. Let's add the tusks facing the right way this time. And then let's add the eyes. 
Oh my god, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Let's add it in. Let's add its one leg in. Is it gonna hop around then? Oh my god, yes. Oh, in all my times of playing Spore, I've never made a one legged animal. I said I wanted it to be one leg. One leg, please. That's weird. There we go, one leg. Oh my god, it's a pair. It is practically a pair. And we got bot spikes. Let's add them further up a tiny bit. Let's face outwards a bit. Ooh, look at that weaponized butt. Oh, this is amazing. Can we move these a bit? I suppose. Well, we don't need this, do we? It's because we can't eat meat. It makes us sick. So we just have a big jelly mouth. Oh my god, I think I've made the best. Uh, monster in the world. Okay, let's rise to the surface. The flopper tub army. Here we go. Oh my god, that looks so sad. The one leg. Oh my god. What have I done? Oh, I am a monster. Oh my god, that is adorable, yet so cruel. <laughs> Here they are, emerging. Oh, it's so cute. Come on, rise, my pretties. Rise, oh my god, look at it run. Look at the babies! Oh my god, it's so cute. It is the beginning of a new day, and for you, a whole new strange and wondrous world. Air fills your lungs as you stretch into your limbs in your new home, dry land. The race to evolve has begun. Welcome to land. Now you are a creature surrounded by your nestmates. To evolve, you will need to meet the other species on this planet and earn DNA. And DNA moves your progress bar. Let's take a look. This bar shows your progress. Fill it by building relationships with other species or forcing them to become extinct. Let's go to your first goal. Goals. Here is where you find your objectives. As this goal suggests, food is critical to your survival. Let's learn how to look around to find some. Hold down the right mouse button to rotate the camera. Mm hmm. These guys are so cute. They're like little pears. Oh my god, we hop amazingly. Oh my, oh my god. God, this is so cute! The hunt for survival has begun. Oh my, oh my god, it's, it's babies! Babies with weaponized butt cheeks! It's the future! Okay, so I'm sadly going to need to end the episode and end it on this cute madness. But yeah, we are now land creatures, the flopper tubs. Whew. Let's go on an adventure then. Flipper tub out.